In this video, I'm going to try to demonstrate how to properly do the boost bypass and the bypass valve, how to properly set it. Some people have an issue, and it's not even their bypass valve. It's the way that they have it adjusted with these two bolts right behind these two, and right there. That's the problem. Now, what you're going to want to do is the bolt all the way over here. You're going to want to pull up this way down on this side so if you can see where the bolts are set you pull this up it goes all the way to the bottom of the bracket you push this one down just until this trigger is touching now that we have that covered the bottom hose is free air you don't want that connected any longer to this now the reason why I don't have the hose leading off the back of the actuator to the manifold is my manifold hose is now directly if I can get to it linked to my boost gauge inside the car I did the actuator delete with the boost bypass now I do not have to run it this way I you can unplug these sensors I've had issues with stupid engine codes coming up little dumb things these cars are so temperamental now i have my uh coil cover and fuel injectors all uh cover off so you can see the tubing a little easier but i just tuck the hose down underneath um as far i've seen people talk about these oil filters uh nay or yay and honestly i plan on getting an oil catch can i don't like the idea of uh the uh basically the ventilation getting sucked out into the cold air intake therefore dirtying up my throttle body going through my supercharger yeah just doesn't sound like the greatest thing so figure i'm gonna install a catch can um i have the the original hose that went over here just tucked away right now but yeah as far as the bypass i'm pretty sure that we covered that now if you're limited to five pounds PSI, this will fix your problem. If you're limited to around nine to 10 PSI, it could be the setting that you're on. Now, I also had another issue where I had severe belt slip. I couldn't get past 10 PSI. Long story short, I ended up getting a new tensioner and it solved the issues. I also threw on the three inch larger pulley, being as though I'm running a 2.7 pulley. Um, I was running a 2.9 prior, but I dropped it down. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hope this helps somebody.